Hello children. Today we will learn about formatting a document in Microsoft Word. Formatting effects can be applied using Home tab which contains font formatting commands, font group, paragraph options, text style commands, copying and moving commands, finding, replacing and selecting commands that is editing group. Let us start then. First we will see changing the font type. The characteristic of specific size and design used for typing the text are called fonts. Microsoft Word provides various types of font option. When you open the word, by default it will show you the default font type Calibri body with 11 point size here. Now, to change the font type, first you need to select the text. Let us type something. Select this text, then click on the font. In this you will find number of font styles. You can select any of the font style. In fact, you can see the preview aside here of each font design. Select the style and from the font size option you can change the size of your text. This is the way of changing font style and font size. Now let us see how to apply bold, italic and underline. First we will see bold face. Bold face makes the selected word darker than the rest of the text. See how. Select this formatting. Click on bold face option. You can observe that the selected word has become little darker than this text. Next is italicizing. The effect emphasizes the text by slanting it to the right. Let us see how. Select the text and click on italic. This is the effect of italic. In the same way, the underline option emphasizes the text by placing the line under it. We can underline a word or sentence along with the spaces. To apply this effect, just select the sentence or text and click on underline option. You can see the underline appeared. You can also underline the different kinds of line, double line, darker line, dotted line, curve line, like this. Now, let us see changing the text alignment. How to change the text alignment? Let me make it normal first. To change the text alignment, select the text. In the home tab, under the paragraph menu, you will find the alignment options that is align text left which places the selected text towards the left margin by default the text is always aligned to the left margin center align it sets the text in the center of the left and right margins it is mostly used for titles and headings align the text right it aligns the selected text towards the right margin it is often used for placing dates or references in a document. Justify Align It places the text evenly between the left and right margins. It is mainly used for designing books, magazines and newspapers. So this is all about margins. Left, Center, Right and Justify. Now let us see how to change the text color. To change the text color, you need to select the text, then go to the color, font color option. Click on the drop down arrow, you will find a number of colors here. You can also click on more colors. 
these are standard colors and these are custom colors and select the color of your choice the text color will change same way you can click on gradient option to keep the shaded colors in this way now let us see how to change the text case you can change the case of the existing text without retyping it in microsoft word by using change case option available in the font group Word 2010 provides five type of case conversions. Change case. The first is sentence case. It capitalizes the first letter of the selected sentence. You can see it capitalizes the first letter of selected sentence. Second is lower case. It converts the selected text to lower case. upper case it converts the selected text into upper case and capitalize each word it changes the first character of each selected word to upper case and last is toggle case it converts the case of every selected character in reverse manner that is capital character will convert into lower case and vice versa like this These are the five ways of changing the case. Let us repeat again: sentence case, lower case, upper case, capitalize each word, and toggle case. Now, let us see changing the line spacing. Line spacing is the vertical distance between successive lines of the text in a document. we can also increase or decrease the line spacing between the paragraph to do this first select the text select the text click on the line and paragraph spacing button in the paragraph group of home tab this is line spacing when you click on this you will find some options here 1.0 1.15 1.5 2.0 or else you can go to line spacing option here you can change the alignment and you can set the indentation values let us say it is 1 inches right side also it is 1 inches and you can put it to 0 you can see the line spacing is changed according to our requirement now we will see how to create bulleted or numbered list we can format the list in document by using bullets and numbers a bullet is a small graphic symbol that indicates items in list to apply the bulleted list first let us type something paragraph group of home tab here you have bullets here you have numbered list and here you have multi level list so click on this small arrow under the bullets you will find the number of options here various kind of options to create bulleted list select any of your choice you can see the bulleted list is appear all are the bullets available here 
You can also change in the same way the numbered list. Just select the text, go to numbered list. You will find the different options here 1, 2, 3, Roman numbers, capital ABC, small ABC. And you can apply the numbers as per your choice. These are the ways to change the numbered list. So we have two types of list, bulleted list and numbered list. Now let us see how to apply borders and shading. To apply border and shading, select the text, then click on the border and shading group under the paragraph tab. You will find here number of options that is bottom border, top border, left border, right border, all borders, outside borders and many. Click on the borders and shadings options. In this, you can select box option, select any of the dashed line, you have various lines here. You can change the width of the border. By default it is half point, you can select any of your choice and click on OK. You can see that the border has applied to our text. Same way you can apply the shading also of, of the choice of your color. Let us select any color. and click on OK. This is the way of applying borders and shading. In the same way you can apply the page border also. This is the way to apply page border. So this is all about borders and shading. Now the last feature of today's session is apply drop cap. Now what is drop cap? Drop cap is a text formatting option in Microsoft Word that allows a user to enlarge only the first letter of paragraph. It is used to give graceful and fancy look to the document. To do this, let us type something. Formatting means changing the appearance of a document to make it attractive. Now select the first word, I'll make it little big. Select the first word of the word document. Formatting. Now click on the insert tab. In insert tab, select the drop cap button in the text group. This one. Select the desired option from the drop down menu. And observe the change. This is called as drop cap. Thank you for watching.